All right. So um, I don't know about you guys, but my my interest in the United States healthcare system first started when uh, I heard about Obamacare, and uh, my first thought was, is is our healthcare system really that bad? Do we need to uh, you know change it that much? And as I researched for this FedEx project, uh, it became clear that our healthcare system definitely does need reforming. Um, our healthcare system is ridiculously expensive. We spend eight and a half thousand dollars on healthcare per person annually. Um, you know, second place is Norway at five thousand six hundred dollars per person, and uh, we don't really get anything for that extra spending. We're we're thirty seventh in healthcare, and that's mainly due to the fact that not a lot of Americans are covered by our healthcare system. Um, you know, toward um, for for the upper class of this country, uh, you know we get the best doctors in the world, but for for the lower class and the middle class, they have difficulty accessing doctors. And uh, when they do access doctors, the the expenses accumulated by them fall on other people in the healthcare system. Um, so where does all the spending go? Uh, as we can see. More than half goes to unnecessary services and excess administrative costs. And uh, so unnecessary services is basically um, doctors ordering more tests to cover their butts because of malpractice lawsuits. Um, in, in uh, well, uh, while this, while while reforming this will not make a huge change, it will save about $35 billion because more CAT scans and more MRIs are ordered in the United States than anywhere else in the world. Um, administrative waste. So, quarter of spending goes to administrative waste. The problem here lies with um, the involvement of unions in the American healthcare system. Um, union contracts mean that uh, workers that are part of the union uh, do less work and they're, they're not responsible basically for their actions. Uh, so um, for, for, for example, uh, Duke University Hospital, there are 900 beds there and there are 1,300 employees, if that makes sense to you. Thought processes. Um, so another huge problem is that everything costs more in the United States. That is drugs, surgeries, medical equipment, because the United States does not negotiate prices with pharmaceutical companies and these medical companies. Um, and that is because our system is privatized. Uh, when you look at England, for example, um, the NHS in England um, negotiates prices with uh, companies basically to provide their citizens with cheaper and more of that company's drugs or um, products. So they get everything for cheaper. Here, um, you know, Lipitor, which is a heart drug, um, costs $140 in the United States and uh, costs $7 in Australia, which is Pretty ridiculous. Um, now, more medical services are available to Americans. Uh, in Canada, well, well, in Ontario specifically, there are um, 12 hospitals which are capable of providing open heart surgery. And in Pennsylvania, which is roughly the same size, um, there are 60 hospitals that are capable of performing open heart surgery. Uh, this is not necessary to have more because open heart surgery, you know, you can travel an extra 10 minutes if you're going to get open heart surgery. I don't think that's a huge deal. Uh, and, and it costs just far too much. Uh, yeah, so um, solutions to this problem. Uh, you know, in, in, insanely complicated. If we look at Obamacare, it's you know, 
tens of thousands of pages that are impossible to understand. And that is because this system is so complicated and there's no one solution. You know, to, to get a cheaper healthcare system, we do have to sacrifice some of the quality. Doctors will get paid less. Uh, it won't be as an attractive field. Um, so it, finding a balance between all these things is, is really going to be a challenge going forward. And, oh, it, you know, Obamacare hasn't really had enough time, I think, for us to see if it's going to be successful or not. But um, I sure hope it is. And if it's not, then we need to keep working. And uh, our politicians shouldn't make this a political issue. They should 